Okay, like we just said, there's these three steps to a radical reaction. The first one is the initiation step. Okay, you can initiate these radical reactions by shining light on them oftentimes or heating them up. What that'll do is take a non-radical thing, so there are zero radicals here, and do bond homolysis. Remember the fish hook arrows show the motion of just one electron. And it makes these two radicals. Which remember are uncharged, okay? They're uncharged um, because they've got the right number of electrons that they're supposed to have according to the periodic table, okay? But of course we know that they're not going to have a full octet if that's the case. And we know from our study of chemistry from previous that having a charge isn't as bad as having an uh, unfilled octet, okay? So when you do this, these guys are going crazy. They want to get another electron as fast as possible. They're not stable, very unstable, very highly reactive, okay? If you want to remember the uh, antonyms for, for chemistry, stability and reactivity, right? So something that's very stable is non-reactive, something that's very reactive is unstable, okay? So just like Kendra said, very unstable. So how do I know when I have an initiation step? It's when I have zero radicals and I go to two radicals. So this is a common question. What step, what kind of step is this, okay? Um, a propagation step, in fact, this is the step. This is the step that happens most often in um, your radical reactions, okay? So this will only generate a small number of radicals, maybe a couple of molecules, okay? Because most of them don't want to do that bond homolysis, but some of them will get enough energy and do it, okay? But then, once they do it, then they're like trying to attack everybody else, okay? So a propagation step will have this radical see this molecule and say, I want to be more stable, you know? So I'm going to steal your partner away. So we got those two fish hook arrows meeting like that, and this fish hook arrow going to that end step. Okay. So what did we make? We made x dot again, but now we made y x with the other one. Okay. So if you want to know if it's a propagation step, you've got one radical in the reactants and one in the products. Okay. And then termination steps don't happen very often, just at the end of the reaction, right? So this is very small amount. This happens just at the end of the reaction. This happens most of the time, okay? Until everything's reactive, okay? So it's like, what we call this is like a chain reaction, okay? So once you start a radical reaction, you can't stop it. Okay? Very, very because the things are so reactive, okay? But every once in a while, because there's not many radicals in your solution, only a few, um, they usually won't see each other, okay? Because it's like, you know, you can imagine how big they are relative to your uh, solution class, right? So what'll happen is every once in a while, two radicals will meet up and they'll be like a match made in heaven, right? And they'll say, okay, you're reactive and I'm reactive, let's become stable. Like that. Okay, so if you go from two radicals to zero radicals, that's a termination step. Is everybody okay with that? So notice, I mean, what we did was we took xy and made x2. Okay. Does that make sense? So think about it that way. Are there any questions on this general reaction? You like that? On the initiation step? Uh-huh. Uh, 
Would the two radicals have a tendency to bond back together since they're unstable? I mean, potentially, you know, so can it go back this way? Once this happens, they probably will separate and react with the next guy next to them. But yeah, there is a tendency that, I mean, you can imagine that tendency to happen. But if it happens, then it'll just break again if you shine more light on it. I mean, these radical reactions, you put some light on them, and then they'll just start going. Okay? Go crazy, yeah. Are there any questions on this? Okay, so just remember these steps for right now. And again, we'll do more of these radical reactions later.